Um, you were looking for the body, did you think that? Yes, because my father called me, my sister called me, and when he called me, uh -huh. um, he asked me if she's there at my house, and I told it. She said that she'd come visit me. No, she promised that she went and buy something at the shop. So I said, no, that's something wrong. So I, my father was still wanting other people, and I get in, I come along. My husband and me, so when my husband don't reach. I so the lady is your mother-in-law? Yes, yeah, she's my mother-in-law. So I come in, me and my next sister-in-law. Oh, so she went to the shop and she did not she come back? She did not come back again. Okay, so, so then you got suspicious and yes, starting to yes, look? Yes, I get suspicious and I tell my sister, you know what? Something wrong happened. Something really happened wrong. So uh -huh. we start to look. We get a flashlight. We went check at the cricket part to use to wash. And my next brother-in-law went very sure. You think something happened to my mom? Yes, yes. Because she never, this should have never happened to she. She will always come back. Yeah, she will always come back. So I so said we start to search and search and ask, call people for help and. I call the 991 police station and I, I'm asking them assistance, assistance to please help us do the search and we keep on searching and we don't find the body when I call them back again to come to get the body. So we come in till around 9.30. Really? So you call them from around 7.30? Yes, so I call them around 7.30 and they reach the, the body went till 9.30. We were right there waiting for them. Okay. And when they took the body, um, did they look for evidence or collect any evidence? Um, to me, not really sure they get enough evidence because when they get a body, they just get the body and I would really, because we still find in the early the morning as daylight come, we still find um, her clip in there and the rice where she bath. So to me, police never did a good search because it's, it was not far. It was right on the roadside. Yes. Yeah. So the police never did. Yeah. And that um, person, because my mother-in-law already told me that that's the same person with did this and she already promised me four times she saw that man always around with a big sharp machete and the last time so your mother-in-law yeah saw already that man. told me about that son four times yeah and where is this man now he's around, he's around the bush hiding right now have so you told the police this no she only was i always come visit her and she told me you know what i see this man because my granny, the old one, she, she said, I, I lock my, my um, granny at home. She said, my ma, I lock her at home because you know why? We saw this man four times on the road up and down. Yeah. Do you know who this man is? Miguel Chico. The same boy will always go hang around the creek. Even one man who used to go wash by the creek, they still chase him right there. They catch a bag, they catch a knife with him too. So he's always around. And one time my mother lady washed right there and he's right there at the bush watching it. And what's his name? Uh, Miguel Chupo. Yeah, He lives in Colombia here? Yes, he's a resident of Colombia. He's always in the wrong bag. Yeah. Have the police heard this information? Yes, I think a lot of ladies have report this already because um, since, yes because I know an ex lady she doesn't have a husband so she reached at my house and she tell me the same thing this same man did the same thing and after that my mother will tell Maggie you know what the man was right there right um when you see the lead shed right there the man was right there peeping at them around this house and she said you know what the man must want to do something maybe he want to cover up so I tell her you know, be careful she tell me yes that's why I always had luck my mom then I went out I'm afraid something happened to my mom but she, as she went out she always asked us to come and check too so we did it so. Miss Anna, at what moment you noticed that your mom was not coming back home? How did you notice? How did you start? Because the they called me. They called me around six. I was going to eat. So my father and I called me and he still with at the vehicle. So I get in and we come and we started to search because this haven't happened as yet. First time. First time. So. Okay. So, but the, but the police have the name of the Miguel Choco. Yes, we are. We are. I'm. I'm always telling them. I'm calling the CIB from Belize too. So. Oh, so you had reported this incident before? No, but when this happened. When I it happened. Uh -huh. But before this individual was accused of harassing women. Yeah, yeah. Before, yeah, he's always about. Yeah, and, and did he harm anybody else before now? Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, one next old lady get uh, raped too. The next one, yeah. Po police have get enough report of this, and people from Colombia get tired of this because they are always saying that he's the man. And sometimes the police arrest him, and he goes to jail, and his father again, he's right there out again. He's always walking with a machete. 
I to know. So your mom um, have informed you before that? Yes, she informed me was... four times that he saw that man four times with a big sharp machete. That's really hurt me with passion, but her life is going to be. <laughs> and they, they have proof that he's the one that likes to come around the little creek, um, watching on the ladies whenever they take their bath. And uh, my mother-in-law doesn't have anything with these guys. And uh, what I want to say also, that whenever they call for the police to come and help, police always come late. The police, I guess, the police arrive here after, mm, nine. after 9. And they call like 7, they came here at 9. And whenever they came here, the, the, I, I know the, the the proper procedure is like they should put the tape around that people doesn't go there. All they came to do is to cut the wire, pick the body, and they fly back. And the evidence was there. The groceries was full of blood, and the the clip that she used it is right on the ground. And um, you know they have, and they also have a rod that was there that these police didn't. Uh, collect all the evidence and yet they want to know more about it but then they didn't do their job this is what we we want to um, let the commissioner know that they should do a proper investigation so that um, this guy can go to the back for good I think this this is what they did my brother I, I, I don't I don't like it and I think think a lot of things to do about this guy here, but he, he's hiding, you know, he's hiding. And I hope the police caught him, and you know, because it's bad what he's doing, man. Chancing a whole lady, that's all. That's do all. you have any idea of who is this man? Well, he's, he's Miguel Choco from Colombia. I know him very good, I know him good. And I don't know why you have to do this, because he's like, um, he's not correct to men. He's like, um, something wrong with him, like. He always dressed you know, with sharp pants and without clothes, you know, like a, like a... And what makes you, what, what make you guys think that he is the one who did this? Well, why I'm saying that, because every time when I, when I go to the village and shop, I see him right the same spot where my mother died. The same spot, so I'm putting it that he's the one that did it. Okay. And yeah, I always threaten my mother. And how many times did your did your mother report to you guys that he was being well, threatened by any individual well, lately? Well, none. But he just saw that guy there several times with a machete in his hand. But this time, look like he, he gets really serious and he did what he what he want. And that's what I am not happy about it. No. Well, that's all I have to say because. Okay, they got another guy from this village in San Pedro, Colombia, way to the back, but I, I does not know that guy's name. One time I was traveling, going to work at Cisco Company. Mm -hmm. I saw him, he's struggling with an old lady. One well, old lady that he's struggling with by the roadside, you know, trying to rape this old lady. But when he saw me, he just let go the lady and he started continuing his way up, going to PG. So. Mm -hmm. This individual has known to be someone that has been um, um, going um, harassing, sexually yeah, harassing yeah. Um, young um, yeah. ladies, um, elders. Ladies, elder, elder, elders, ladies, yeah. Okay. But so, and what do you guys want the police to do now that well, you guys have an idea of who could possibly be this um, perpetrator who did such a crime? Well, actually, I think it's the same guy that I'm talking about. I heard there were two of them. My son told me when he went to village yesterday, he saw two guys there, but I'm trying to ask him about it. But he couldn't recognize those guys because, but he said it's two person and they got a machete in their hand. And I try to ask him who if you try to recognize them, but he said he doesn't know them. But they came, came, came out at the same spot there. Mm -hmm. So I, I know that the, the first, that, that same one there, I'm putting him in either the first one that yeah. This is the first time they, they kind of thing happened down here, man. Family. Uh -huh. and everybody had a family, so we really need justice on the on the on the real side. Justice that what we need. Because then thing, uh, we got kids where they go to school, and you know, fayato.
to the village that about a mile, right? Mm -hmm. And we need for we safety. That way we need. So this lady, we understand that this individual was around the village before doing this stuff. Yes, he already like he attacked three different women already. Did they report it Elders. to the police? No, no. And these are the same guys that they, they call him. His, his he goes by the name of H. His real name is Miguel Choco, and the other one is Valencia Kib. Those two guys, they always pair up. They, they do all kind of craziness in this village. And they report this thing to the police? Yes, sometimes, but when the police start to look for them, they always they run about like this, then they never they show themselves. They always take the bush. Most of the time, they go and hang out right in this in this area, mm -hmm. the, the back of this area. Yeah. Because we got the river so, so they don't they don't miss nothing. They got everything there. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you, you have heard of these people before? Yes, I know about them. I went to visit them. There's the honest people. Mm -hmm. The one honest person for me. Then when I reached there, she gave me for food. She gave me for everything. And the person who killed her? I don't know because I don't really walk. I, I can't walk anymore. I always stay home. Right. And that is my little house way up there. Okay, so do you feel afraid in the village right yes, now? Yes, I feel Definitely. afraid, yes, because we're always afraid because nobody wants to go and bed for right now. Mm -hmm. Because most of the time, right, like but around like the creek, like out in there, the bush. you could see them sometimes like you peeping people, after you. You, you, you know, feel but if you give dogs. a report, yes, yes, you give a report to the police, the police will say, I'll look into it. And when you see, nothing happened. They just leave it like that. And we're tired of this. We, we need... We need them man behind bars. That's the way we need.